Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixel and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. Today I've just got a super quick video looking at some of the issues that many people are having with the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War beta here on PC. Personally, I've been getting a whole lot of crashes and so I've spent the day testing various fixes to see what does and doesn't help with my specific issue. Quick disclaimer, there does appear to be a lot of individual issues causing people's crashes, so I can't guarantee that this is 100% going to be the fix that you personally need. However, these things do seem to have completely solved my problems, and frustratingly, it's something that I would have normally tried very early on in the troubleshooting process, but this time, it was literally the very last thing that I tried, so before we take a look at what did work, let's see what didn't. Here are the things that I tried. I scanned and repaired the game, fully reinstalled the game, updated graphics card drivers, updated windows, changed multiple different in-game settings, tried full screen window mode, tried various recommended launch parameters, set up a new windows profile, used multiple graphics cards, disabled windows game mode, disabled full screen optimizations, ran the game as administrator, modified the game's config, changed windows language settings, and even increased my page file size. For me, none of these worked, or even really helped, other than maybe running in windowed full screen, which did appear to make the crashes less frequent, but nevertheless, they were definitely still there. So, through the process of elimination, I'm going to now go over the few things that I know for sure can help, so let's get right to it. Now, I've heard that if you're struggling with the game basically crashing on launch, and your Windows language is not set to English, then changing over to English can fix this specific issue. To do this, you simply want to go over to your language settings and select the language that you would like to install. Once you've done that, restart. After that, you should be able to click the language section of your taskbar and select which language you would like to be using. If this is the problem that you've been facing and switching over to the English UK or English US fixed it, then great, fingers crossed, everything else should work fine. If, like me on the other hand, you are suffering from regular random crashes and the language setting thing doesn't really apply, then you can by all means try all the things that I've already listed, but I would personally recommend that you start off with a full DDU uninstall of your graphics card drivers. To be clear, this is very different to how you would normally update your drivers. It's a little more advanced and it requires a free third-party program. It's possible, yet rare, that you could run into some relatively small issues that, while generally aren't really anything to worry about, can appear scary to users that aren't all that experienced with computers, so if this makes you nervous, it's unfortunately probably best that you simply wait for the developers to release a patch on their end fixing the problem. If you already know what you are doing with DDU, then you should really be able to just get on with it and uninstall your drivers and reinstall some new ones, and once that's done, everything should work fine. On the other hand, if you are new to this sort of thing and you would still like to give it a go, you're going to need to download both a fresh set of graphics card drivers and the display driver uninstaller program, link to which can be found in the description down below. Now, I'm full of bad habits, so when I did this, I actually uninstalled my graphics card drivers before I downloaded some fresh ones to replace them with, and while this isn't a massive issue, it is definitely wiser to make sure that you have them downloaded beforehand. Since we're using an AMD GPU, we're downloading the 20.9.1 drivers from AMD's website. If you're running an Nvidia card, you're going to want to find out what drivers are recommended for this game and then download them over on Nvidia's website. Anyway, once you've got DDU downloaded, you're going to want to extract it, install it and run it. Next, you should set select device type to GPU, select device to either AMD or Nvidia based on which type of graphics card you are running, and then after that, start the cleaning process using one of the three buttons on the left hand side. I personally went to clean without a restart, but it is generally recommended to do a clean with restart if you want to minimize the risk of your display going blank. Once your drivers have been removed, you'll probably notice that your computer feels much less responsive, but don't worry, this is normal. And it's at this point that you're going to want to start reinstalling your graphics card's drivers. During the install process, you'll probably notice that your computer is doing lots of little bits and bats, and you'll probably be told to restart the computer a couple of times, so just let it do what it wants to do and everything should be fine. If everything has gone to plan, you should now be able to boot up the game and have the shaders recompile, and then be able to play the game without the game constantly crashing due to fatal errors. Now, before I jump off for the day, I do have one super quick bonus tip for anybody that's been suffering with constant stutters. It appears that these stutters are caused by a GPU VRAM limitation, and unfortunately, the game settings menu doesn't really do a great job of accurately estimating VRAM usage. 
Thankfully, there is something that we can change in the user config file and it appears to smooth things out greatly. To find this config file, you're simply going to want to navigate to your documents folder, go into the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War folder, and then into the player-beta folder and open up a file named config. If you scroll down towards the very bottom of this file, you should be able to see a setting called video underscore memory. Simply lower the value to around 0.7 and then save the file. This should, in theory, prevent the game from hammering our GPU's VRAM quite so hard and help minimise any stuttering. But with all that said, that is once again going to be me done for today, so thank you so much for watching. Obviously, if you like this video, then please leave it a like, and if you've got any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section down below, and I will try and get back to you. If this video helped you out, then how about slapping that subscribe button and dinging that bell so you get notified of our future uploads. For now though, until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.